Hello friends, welcome to TechEG YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to see how we can create a IAM user uh, and how we can enable the console access for that user for the administrative purposes so that that user can perform the all the administrative tasks. Okay, for so that we have to log in using our root account. Okay, here like uh, this is my AWS console you can search here for the AWS console and uh, after that you can log in into the your AWS account okay now enter your uh, root user email id like here my root user email id is this I click on next and uh, here uh, security check so enter that capture and for and for app okay and after entering it you have to enter your password here okay and now if you are enabled the MFA then you have to enter your MFA code and if you are not enabled the MFA then you can simply log in into your account but for uh, root account or any other account it's recommended to enable the MFA okay click on submit okay it says authentication failed it means somewhere i am entered a wrong credentials okay okay now enter your mfa i am entering my mfa code okay now one more time captcha okay it's one more time it says authentic okay captcha entry is incorrect it's saying me okay now we are here into our aws management console i am entering the run captcha two times sorry for that okay now uh, we have to go here for iam iam is stand for identity and access management okay by using iam we can create group users roles policy or we can analyze the all access management of our aws account like here uh, we have to create a user okay like here I already have we have one user uh, so first of all we have to create a group in which a user can lie so here I already have an admin group but uh, for the demonstration purpose here I am uh, just uh, starting from beginning so click on users like we have to create a user I am user so click on add users give here a username okay like here i am giving a username show of scene one two three four enable console access optional so here we want to give the uh, uh, we want to enable console access we can uh, just simply click here or we have uh, option after creating that user okay like here we forget about uh, enabling the console access so what we have to do uh, like we did not enable the console access it at beginning so we just uh, uh, click on next oh here uh, we have to create a group like i already have a admin group but here for demonstration i want to create a new group so here I want to give name it admin1 here I want to give the administrator access so that here I assign the policy for administrator access and also the network administrator and system administrator policies all are so I want to assign so here first for admin
okay now here we just want to give the network administrator access also so here just search for network administrator is there anything missing okay here this is my network and i also want to give the database administrator access so here just i want to search for database and here also here i want to give the system administrator access so just search here for system okay now select the system administrator okay here i assign the four policies for my admin one group now click on create user group okay here we created a admin one user group here you can simply see that no one is here so i just want to create a user with admin one group so just select that group and click on next okay here you can also assign some tags and here i want did not want to assign any tags so i click on create user okay here you can simply see that user created successfully here is the our uh, new user which we created okay like just click we uh, mm, our user is created but this user did not have the console access so what we have to do here just click on the username and uh, go into the security credentials section and here uh, we can uh, just enable uh, we can enable console access click on enable console access uh, click on enable here we want to use the custom password so here just Um, enter your custom password you can simply see your password by clicking the show password but i did not want to show password so click on apply okay so these are the this is the your console sign in url by which uh, you can uh, just go using the single link in at the uh, login page where you have to enter your username and password for login into that account you can simply download your dot csv file also so that uh, if you forget about that uh, password then you can simply um, uh, see your csv file and you can um, get your password from there okay now just click and close if you it is very recommended to enable the mfa so here uh, we have to assign a MFA device. MFA is uh, for multi-factor authentication. If you know the best and simple method, I think is authenticator app. So here I click on our authenticator app. Uh, okay, here first of all we have to give a device name. So here just give a name. Okay, two FAS. Okay, here I want I want to use the two. FAS uh, okay 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 it's saying okay just enter one more character here to FAS1 it's giving the error because I already created a, a um, MFA virtual MFA device with that uh, to FAS name so here I am adding one here uh, now click on authenticator okay now we have to install uh, app name to fas or you can also use my microsoft authenticator app or any other uh, trusted mfa but here i trust to fas authenticator app so here i am uh, already i already installed that app from play store so okay i so you have to click on show qr code uh, here and in plus sign into your phone so click on plus sign and click on scan qr code in your phone and uh, now uh, you have a scan so after scanning you get a code you have to enter that phone code into your mfp code one section okay okay okay
okay now wait for the second code it will take 30 seconds for refreshing that code okay here my second code is generated so here i am entering my second code okay now click on add mfa okay he, uh, here a message comes mfa device is assigned uh, now we uh, successfully created a uh, iam uh, user with the console access okay so for login into our the console here we have to copy that link or we can just copy the this account number okay so here i copied the whole console sign in link so here just we have to paste that link into your url box okay now we have to simply uh, enter our username like here our username is Saurabh Singh 1234 and we have to enter our password ok now click on sign on and here we assigned a MFA so here it's asking for our MFA code so here enter your MFA click on login okay here we are into the our user account okay so here we successfully log in into the console by using the sort of thing one two three four user okay this user has all the uh, network system and uh, all the administrator access so here we can perform that task okay as per assigned policy like here we can uh, it's an administrator access so it can create uh, and manage the resources like ec2 resources also here you can say that okay thanks for this video we will see you in next video thanks for watching Take it to your YouTube channel.